Hi there, foodies. How are you? How's your Monday? How was your Sunday? How was your last week, past week? Yesterday, we were celebrating Father's Day in honor of our fathers, our fatherly figures in our lives, and to celebrate fatherhood in community, to celebrate fathers as parents and fathers as heroes. So today we are going to go deeper with my perspective of what Father's Day means. It can mean different things to you guys. Everyone can have his or her own opinion on what Father's Day means to them, the significance of Father's Day in their life. Um, let's dive deep into the celebration of Father's Day while we celebrate Father's Day and the significance of Father's Day and if we are upholding to the old tradition or we are trying to twist it a little bit uh, just to fit in modern times. Uh, I've got a script here which I took from the internet so let's just read on uh, on how Father's Day actually originated and where it originated from. Father's Day was first celebrated in the United States of America where a little girl, I think it was on the 19th of June, 1910, where a little girl by the name of Sarona Dodd yeah, um, wanted her, father to, her father's birthday to be observed. He was a civil war a veteran so that's actually where father's day originated from her wish was granted so from that scenario it's where the father's day celebration actually started my unsolicited opinion yeah okay father's day what is father's day what is the meaning of father's day and so we can actually define father's day as the day we honor fathers the day we celebrate fatherhood the day we celebrate paternal bonds and the day we acknowledge um, the fathers and the role of the father in society uh, on how we bring up children how they actually bring up children how they raise those children to become young adults so in acknowledging that um, there are some women like single women who single-handedly raise their children without any paternal role in those children's lives and sometimes we or society has pick up the speed of also wishing those women a happy father's day so to me that part only no it does not just it just does not sit well with me we should actually acknowledge those women their bravery what that woman is doing in that child's life single-handedly cannot be equated to the role that the father should have taken if he was present. No, he decided to be absent and you decided to go in full force as a woman and raise your child. So rather, I will call such women a superwoman. Yeah, I think we should acknowledge the roles that those women are playing as women in those children's life. And they should be commended as such and they should be acknowledged as such. Women who single-handedly raise their children. To me, that's bravery. It cannot be equated to a father. No, never. So let's be truthful, honest. Actually, that way, the child will also know how much you have put an in as a mother to raise them. They will acknowledge that. They will give credit to that when they grow up. They will thank you for that. And that child will not be affected by the societal pressure of the absent father. Because for you or for the society constantly wishing you a happy Father's Day or you wishing yourself a happy Father's Day 
for the absence of the paternal bond in your child's life, you are actually planting that thought of the absent father in the child's yeah, on the, in the child's mind, which can grow into resentment later when the child grows up. So why not just acknowledge that women are raising children with the absence of their fathers and they can be commended as such without bringing the part of the father being absent. Uh, by planting that thought, I just think it's a constant reminder to the child or to the children that uh, there's an absent father figure in their lives. So it, it's actually a negative energy that we are actually passing on to children, which I think, I'm no psychologist, but which I think will affect them later because constantly Father's Day you continue putting in thoughts like I'm father, I'm the father, I'm the mother, just for you to be credited for that. No, <laughs> we see the society, we see the children also see it. So you are doing a great job. So acknowledge yourself as a superwoman, claim all those powers. <laughs> You are fire, you are doing it, you are brave, you are a brave woman. Uh, and in so doing, like I said, you are actually planning a negative energy um, into the child, the constant reminders of the absent father, the constant reminders of when the child grows up, like he will grow resentment on the male parties, like any, oh, his own father, who was absent so because he was reminded constantly that his father was absent so in that way I think also it will lower the child's um, self-esteem especially for the men child <laughs> yeah the guys the guy child it, I think it will grow resentment in them yeah let's be positive you do not need the world to validate you if you are doing the most for your child your child will acknowledge it when he grows up like i always say society will determine your hard work in raising that child single-handedly if that child be decides to become a good citizen uh, we will all benefit the society from your child's good deeds so acknowledge yourself man <laughs> Acknowledge yourself, praise yourself. You do not need to call yourself a man because you've been doing the most. You are just a woman who is brave, who went through a lot and who've raised a good person to be with in society. Um, that's actually all I wanted to say, my two cents on Father's Day and fatherhood. Let the children acknowledge uh, the part that their fathers are playing in their lives. Um, as for mothers, let, let us help the children, if they are young, to grow up <laughs> celebrating this day with them so that they can actually also see both parents' roles in their lives and acknowledge them for what they are doing in their lives. So. It's not for me to grab uh, my husband and take him away for a weekend away, uh, leaving the children home on Father's Day. No, it's for the children to actually go out with their fathers and spend a day with their fathers. This is just my opinion. This is what Bobo has prepared for his father on Father's Day. Um, because he's a minor, he had adult supervision and adult um, assistance in preparing what he has chosen to prepare for his father. <laughs> his father is a chocolate lover, so he prepared him some chocolate treats uh, with his favorite um, cup of uh, hot chocolate and uh, a man cave kind of uh, dinner. So hope you enjoy this. Oh,
there for this since we are in lockdown my booster came through not lockdown <laughs> isolation for 10 days so my butcher came through and this is what i'm having having the spices here and herbs and I'm having a coriander bush here and I'm having bay leaves, garlic, black pepper corn, fennel seeds, ginger and uh, what do you call this? Gloves, yeah? Gloves. I'm going to grind all of that and have a plate and just spice this up. I will have to trim off all the fats and then just spice it up. to honor fatherhood, to honor fathers, to honor manhood, okay? <laughs>